they don't want Alma to collaborate with Editorial and Amy. Mm, you heard me. They Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Panigo and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based right here in Lagos. Today, your girl came with another YouTuber, but we don't really talk about YouTubers on this channel. But since the YouTubers are giving us something to talk about, why not bring it? So we're talking about Alma Ungu. Yes, that is the right pronunciation of the surname Ungu. So guys, Alma, I hope I'm correct because I think I heard you say it in one of your videos, like pronounced it rightly so guys yes let's just jump right into it so basically alma ungu is an abuja based content creator and also a social media influencer who has done very very well for herself on the streets of this youtube and also on instagram like our production is basically top notch if you give alma ungu an advert for her to run for you like you want her to create something create a content that surrounds your you know your product she's going to do and bring an amazing delivery if you ask me yes she's that good i'm not this is no caps here right now no caps right now she's very very good in what she does so a while back alma ongo came on youtube and started complaining if i can find that clip i'm gonna put just a tiny bit for you guys to hear what she had to say she complained about you know a growth on YouTube and now she felt like she's supposed to be on was it 30,000 subscribers already and now she had a had goals for herself set up for the year and how you know from January till as at when she did the video she had only gained 1,000 subscriber um and, you know she said so much you know about how she felt about it and to me I'm just like okay Alma we hear you we understand what you're trying to say but babes you know i mean you're doing so well already there's some content creator who don't even have the amount of subscriber that you have but your views and theirs equates like just subscribe and let me rephrase that there are some content creators who have way more subscribers than you and your views sort of equates to what those bigger you know content creators with more subscriber have so i mean you shouldn't be complaining but i understand i understand where she's coming from because people have goals visions ambitions people want to do well right and then sometimes when you set a goal for yourself and it seems like you're not achieving it it feels like what is going on am i doing something wrong because like me i used myself on insta as a last year it wasn't like i was doing anything exceptional the only good thing i had then was just my canon 600d camera which is even very very old that i'm open to open to change soon but my phone that I vlog with occasionally was crappy. And I had the aim of attaining to 10,000 subscribers. So imagine Alma, who has all the right gadgets and puts in all the best efforts in her content. And she's still struggling. Do you guys get? It's only natural for her to wonder what is going on. What did she do wrong? Are people not enjoying her content? Are people not staying on her channel as long as they used to? You know, it's only natural for her to wonder about those things so when i saw that video in my mind i'm like okay alma we understand where you're coming from or i understand where you're coming from but still sis you need to be grateful for the little things right even though we will say youtube is not the money she's using to feed herself even as she said that youtube alone cannot sustain a lifestyle right but the good thing is you have another platform or you have other things you are doing that makes that lifestyle sustainable but according to alma alma did not you know she said she didn't come and complain because you know she was bitter that the reason or she wasn't grateful or she didn't appreciate it that the reason she came and you know said the thing she said was because she needed a little bit of encouragement and motivation and the truth is sometimes as content creators you just get to that point where you felt like you or where you feel like not creating content anymore for me say last week i wasn't even in that content creation mode i had so many personal issues bothering me and i wasn't ready to pick up the camera and put it on my face and say hey guys welcome back to the channel i'm not ready at all you know but my darling friend spoke to me and she was like babe go live even if it's just to go on a live stream go on a live stream and just talk about something you know and just get out of this mood so that evening I went live and I started talking about something and that was where some bass bulls just came outside though, from nowhere and I said to just jump on the bass bulls and you know talk about it and I'm sure I'm, I'll probably make maybe one or two dollars from those videos if I check. I forgot to put on the ring light and I just did so if the lighting is looking different I beg just enjoy. So let's go to this Abuja hangout they did. So the Abuja YouTubers, Abuja content creator organized a hangout. That one I am coming for that content. I'm not even ready yet. To analyze that content i'm coming but they organized a hangout and guys they did 
exceptional by organizing a hangout. Lagos YouTubers, what are we doing? Let's not sleep on this. So Abuja YouTubers are about to take over. It's like after Potako Tabuja, I mean after Potako YouTubers now, the next news we'll be hearing is Abuja Abuja YouTubers left right center. So Alma Ungo was absent from the hangout. And a lot of people were wondering that uh -uh, Alma did not attend this hangout. Why did she? Is it that Alma is feeling like she's too big to attend this hangout or she's too posh to associate herself with the smaller content creators? Uh, what is Alma feeling like? Alma, what is she feeling like? Is she that special? Why doesn't she want to attend the hangout? Why did, was she not there? Everybody was saying, is it that Alma Ungo is in the level of Vivian Okezie and the rest of them, you know? Why did she not attend the hangout, you know? But Alma also clarified that, that the reason why she did not attend the hangout was because the first time they told her she was sort of sick and, you know, she couldn't attend. And I don't think they later told her about it when they finally did it. So, I mean, it's not her fault. And also, while the hangout was even going on, Alma was busy jollificating on one vacation like that. But a lot of people have this notion about Alma Ungo that Alma is, you know, sort of a posh, posh person. The thing is, when I started watching Alma, Mm -hmm. I didn't see her as a poshy poshy person. It's not like being posh is a bad thing. Like, I don't know how to put it yet. I, but when I first started watching Alma, she was just this neutral lady that I enjoyed. Especially, I enjoyed the contents where she would sit down with her husband. And, you know, they would talk about certain things and they would make me laugh. You know, they were one of the inspirations also I had. Why I wanted to inculcate, you know, bringing my husband on the channel. And why I wanted to just promote, you know, that they are good marriage and all that. Good marriages and all that, yeah. On my channel but you can watch all that on the vlog channel now it's no longer on this channel so guys while you know i started watching alma to me alma was a very very easy going simple down to head lady doing a thing clean you know beautiful you know with a daughter thriving has a lovely family but i think the switch started happening when Alma moved to this new house right as soon as Alma moved to this uh, new house where that is bigger classier better than where she was staying before a lot of people started having this notion like it's like Alma is not a posh posh person Alma is still the humble down to earth lady that she has always been but you guys don't expect people not to upgrade do you think abani goes that you're talking to is going to remain like this forever no in the next one year, in the next two years, I'm not going to remain like this. I want to be posh here. I probably, I don't know if I'm going to be moving from this house, uh, moving houses yet. But if I have anything I can do to make this house better, or I move to my own apartment, my own house that we've built or something. I mean, you don't expect me to just be the bunny goes that is just, you know, people are bound to grow and change. So I don't think Alma is, you know, too posh or anything like that. Another thing is that people were saying, Alma, some of Alma's fans were saying that they don't want Alma to collaborate with Editorial and Amy. Mm, you heard me. They said it. I'm not the one. They said it. Mm. So they said it on Choices live stream. If you don't attend Choice live stream, now you sabi, you are missing the cruise on this street. In the evening, when you can just while away your BP. Anyways, so they said it there that they don't want that Alma should not collaborate with Editorial and Amy, that they are two different boats that will not sail. But Alma came there and Alma was like, she can collaborate with actually any freaking body and anybody that she wants to collaborate with, she can collaborate with. And that is one thing that stood out for me about Alma, the fact that she was there and while our fans were saying she, she can't collaborate with this person, she can't collaborate with this person, she made them understand that she can collaborate with anybody. Even when Choice TV was saying, can you collaborate with them? Um, um, she was singing Kaobe Awa Mi. Alma said she will work with them. You will be looking at that Kaobe that it is a local brand. But even if it's for Alma to speak pigeon and they will pay her money, she will speak the pigeon and collect her money and go. Choice even went ahead and asked her that can she collaborate with um Odogu Beaters, you know, this Odogu Beaters. Yeah, can she collaborate? She was like, Yes, she will collaborate, collect her 15 million. I mean, I pray for you, Alma, that that 15 million and more brand will locate you and they will locate me too in jesus name and you will cash out so Amma came to the live stream and she was very chilly listening to what choice had to say about her and she came to support and she cleared the hair Amma, i want to say big ups to you we need more people with positive minds like you on the street that don't take being reacted to seriously and even when they're probably saying things that you might not like you don't start eating on them because i'm sure there are one of those people that have done reaction and i saw your comments in a youtuber's comment section where you went down you corrected it that no you're not being entitled though you know 
Alma, oh, big ups to you, right? People like you now when they react to you. So keep giving us reasons to come and talk about you so that you can keep growing more. Because when we that react to talk about you, you actually grow more, right? So thank you guys so much. I want to know what you think about Alma Ungo. I want to know your thoughts on what you think about her. Have you seen her before? Have you been to her channel? Have you heard about her? Have you watched any of her videos before? Let me know in the comment section. Will you be going to check her out after hearing me say all these things about her? She's a sweet lady with a beautiful personality. And I think you need to check out. But if there's anything, any other thing that arises that I feel I need to come and address about Alma Ungo, it doesn't mean after saying these nice things, I won't come out here and do that. I will come out here and say, Alma, this is not what you do. I know I agree you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye for now.